tough one on Saturday as the Huskers open up at Ohio State. Nebraska goes in as a huge underdog. What's what's kind of your take on this? The one thing I'd hate to see is Nebraska to go in there and struggle, get blown out, and then they're going to hear about it from all the national media again. Yeah, and you know the narrative will be, well, they wanted football in Nebraska, they got it, and you know Ohio State stuck it to them, and this is what you wanted, Scott Frost. Well, here you go, and so yeah, I, I think a lot of Nebraskans probably are thinking the same thing, and it's a 26 point spread. It's about as big of a spread as you'll see, and I think that tells you how good Ohio State is, but. One thing about 2020, which has been obviously different in a lot of aspects, not just football, but college football wise, we've seen a lot of unpredictability with some of these games. I mean, Kansas State beat Oklahoma and they had no business winning that game. Iowa State beat Oklahoma. Um, Old Mississippi State took out LSU week one. So there have been a lot of those types of moments where, you know, underdog Arkansas has come out of nowhere and, and become a team to reckon with in the SEC. And I'm not saying that's going to necessarily happen in Columbus, but I think there are a lot of intangible factors that you just can't predict. Um, and the key for me for Nebraska is can they show that this offense is going to work in 2020? Because if they can move the ball consistently and put points on the board and get yards, they can do a lot more things with this football team. And that to me was a huge problem a year ago.